Welcome to SRGC's Dream Center. My name is Eva Barragan. The Dream Center is a one-stop shop in a safe and caring environment for new and continuing students from diverse immigrant backgrounds. We assist with your admissions application, financial aid, and scholarship. We help determine your AB 540 eligibility and help you fill out the form. Connect you with resources in and out of SRJC. And free legal services are provided by Vida Sa, who we work closely with and are located next door to us. If you're a senior in high school, here's some important information and reminders for when you're filling out your applications for SRJC. As a DACA student or undocumented student, when filling out your admissions application throughout CCC Apply, the citizenship question, you will select other and check mark the box that says no document. If you're not sure on what to select, please contact us before submitting your application. California Non-Resident Tuition Exemption Request, also known as AB 540. This assembly bill gives access to in-state tuition in public higher education institutes to those who are eligible. For, eligible. Many believe that AB 540 is for DACA recipients only. In reality, it is for anyone who completed high school or community college in California. AB 540 passed long before DACA did. It passed in 2001. This is for students who attended and completed three years of high school in California and received either a California high school diploma or a California GED or equivalent. Later in 2014, AB 2000 passed. This provides eligibility for those who completed the equivalent of three years or more of a California high school education but graduated early from the California high school and attended three years or more of either California middle school or California elementary school. Most recently in 2017, Senate Bill 68 passed. This provides eligibility for those who completed non, enough non-credit hours or units at a California community college and e either have a California high school diploma, California GED, or a California associate's degree. As a dual enrollment student, you do not need to submit an AB 540. For those who will be graduating in May or June, starting in April, you will want to submit your AB 540 either online through the admissions page under forms or via email to us at Dream Center. When signing this form, you are declaring that the information provided is true. This is a legal document. Therefore, if you are not sure how to fill it out or if you are eligible for it, please contact us and we'll be more than happy to help you out and figure out if you are eligible for the AB 540 or not. This is a screenshot of the first page of AB 540, part of the AB 540. Um, you will want to write your name, your full legal name, your student ID number for SRGC, the campus that you will be attending, in this case, Santa Rosa Junior College. For question one, select the last checkbox, the one that states, I do not have a current non-immigrant visa as defined by federal law. For question number two, for column A and column B, you will select the first box. For column A, you're declaring that you completed and attended three years of high school or more in California. And for column B, you're declaring that you received a high school diploma or will receive a high school diploma in California or a GED in California. In your case, it will be, will be receiving because you'll be submitting your AB 540 before you graduate. For the second page, you will be listi listing your, all the high schools that you attended. If you only attended one, you would just list one. If you attended more than one, we want to see every single school. So that way we can see a total of three years or more of high school education in California. So the first column, you will write the name of your school. And then the next column will be the type of the school. In this case, it will be high school, the city. And then you will write the month and the year when you started attending that school and when you stopped attending that school. Again, if you have more than one high school, you would do this for every single high school. Same thing, when you stopped attending, when you started attending, um, so we can see a total of three years. The last part of your AB 540 is your declaration where you'll be signing. So you will enter your full legal name, um, your campus ID number is your SRGC ID number, your email address, the date, and your signature. Your signature has to be a wet signature. 
you will either have to print it, print the form, or um, if you have a special program where you can do your signature, you can do that um, either online or, or on your phone. We do not want to see a typed signature, signature and we do not accept an electronic signature. If you submit it with an electronic signature or typed, it will get rejected. Financial aid. Starting in October of your senior year in high school, the Cal Dream Act and the free application for federal student aid become, will become available for new applicants and renewals. The Cal Dream Act is for undocumented students who are eligible for AB, AB 540. The FAFSA is for those who are US citizens or have a permanent residency. If you were born in the US but your parents are undocumented, you will fill out the FAFSA. It is important that you submit your financial aid application before March 2nd. Otherwise, you will jeopardize your Cal Grant eligibility. The Cal Grant, the Cal, I'm sorry, the Cal Dream Act application will determine your eligibility for Cal Grant, California College Promise Grant, and scholarships. The FAFSA will determine your eligibility for federal and state aid, as well as the California College Promise Grant and scholarships. For the Doyle Scholarship, your Cal, Cal Dream Act or your FAFSA will be used as your application for this scholarship. To be eligible, you need to maintain a GPA of 2.0 or higher. It is important that you check your emails frequently and follow up with the scholarship department as requested. Please check out our website to see all the different services that we provide and ways that we can help you. Contact us if you have any questions, need assistance, or want us to review your applications before you submit them. We are here to help you and we want to see you succeed. See you next fall.